Alright guys, welcome back, right where we left off, again. Let's... Is that it? Yep. That looks like the principal, but with a little more stuff on his face. Interesting. What do you have to say about it? Let's see what's in here. All right. Um, I've already done a pretty thorough job of searching this place. I mean, not super thorough, but pretty, pretty thorough. So something new is probably going to happen now that I've viewed this footage. <laughs> I'm in here trying to find some sort of door that will lead into the basement. And you know what I did find? An elevator. Let's try that elevator. Noises are coming from downstairs. That's so great. Um. Oh, you know what? I don't know why I need to keep the grids open, but. That was a strange sound that wood made. Let's release that. I can't go down if that's locked. Ooh, there's a ladder on the inside here. I was going to go down, but I guess there's new things to see up here. Let's go back down. Not gonna try and murder me. I don't, I don't want to like get hurt, so I don't know if I should walk in. Okay, yeah, she's not happy. Yeah. All right, that didn't do anything to her. There we go. I need to have her get angry at me. She is like hurt right in my ear. I feel much better now. Ouch, I got hurt by the shockwave. Is she dead? No. Let's reload, see if she's grabbing her stomach yet. No, nope, we're good. I'm glad 
I got all those shells, because it's going to take them all. Do you think I'm doing this wrong, you guys? Uh, this is taking a long time. Um, I guess I'll keep this up for a little while and see you guys in a second. Oh, she died. And she had her hand over a trapdoor. So that was pretty pretty boring. Um, just a waste of my shotgun shells, mostly. I'm not even sure if shooting her was required or if it just took a bunch of light. Uh, so now I'm down here. Um, don't don't go down just yet. Nope. There's the safeties aren't on. Let me out. Let me out. just fucking sucks. They should have asked me if I was ready to go down and have everybody be dead. One or the other, at least. This sucks. You guys remember where I saved last? I do. And it is not worth my time. Yay, can I put a second flashlight on this? Why is this machine moving so much? Not in a good way, you guys. Man, he just fucking jumped through everything. That's right. I'm all hurting again. I feel great now. Good. What about all your friends being dead? You're under the school alone with screams. How does that make you feel? That was bull, her getting killed. You see the other things hanging there. I'm not gonna walk that way just yet. If you're reading this letter, you've probably been as I was, locked up by Herbert, Herbert Friedman. I can get out, but you might be luckier than me. I'm afraid I will soon be used as a guinea pig, like all the other students. And if you do get out, I have put together in a, I have put together in a safe hidden in the dormitory the proof necessary to bring down Friedman. Find the. So while he was trapped down here, he put together a safe hidden in a dormitory. Is that her making sounds? You don't need evidence, man. You just tell the police that all my friends are missing and I was trapped in the school. And they'll be like, well, show me how you got here. They're like, here you go. Walk down there. See what you see. I hear growling. That was a cool scream. I like how it went from the left to the right. January 18th, 1903. Leonard seems to have handled the treatment reasonably well. No special symptoms. March 24th, 1903. After a few days, his skin is covered with melanoma. The tumors are not meta metastasizing. Metastas One sec, guys. Metastasizing very much. But their large numbers causing a worsening in his general condition. March 30th, the hypersensitivity of the skin to UV radiation and the first lesions resulting from this are similar to Xeroderma pigmentosum, an inherited illness. This illness is due to the mutation of the gene that protects against skin cancers, but in theory, the illness is hereditary. April 18th, 1903, hence first Leonard will protect himself from the sun, but the damage is done. The light rays have caused an acute reaction 
in the mortophilia gene inserted into a system. We did not foresee this because our previous guinea pigs remained in their cages. At present, the entire surface of Leonard's skin is suffering profound mutations. May 25th, 1903. The mutations appear to have slowed down. They are, however, spectacular, and I ask myself how he can survive in this condition. The wounds have transformed into scabs that look as though they will remain like the bark of a tree. The damage to his skeleton and his metabolism appear irreversible. His temporal lobes and his upper members are the most affected parts. Uh, sounds like he's got a big head and he might be muscular. Also armored. Uh, June 30th, 1904. His condition has stabilized. His mental condition concerns me as much as appearance has taken on as much as the appearance he has taken on. If human appearance can still be spoken of in this case, the only hope is to cure him now is to have the guinea pigs who have suffered in the same way. Uh, in order to test a therapy aimed at eradicating the gene and returning the subject to his initial condition. September 24th, 1926. This research is very long. I will not live long enough to achieve my goal unless I inject myself with a treatment and remain in the shadows until the serum is discovered. You guys think I can just like not talk to that guy? All that doesn't seem very Catholic. What's the button? You have a knife, buddy. Thank you for not stabbing me. Door doesn't open manually. Uh, that gives me the shivers. Nope, no buttons. Did you guys see that big hole? I don't know if it was actually a hole. This this lion sound is freaking me out though. Alright. Cut. Those are trees. That must be the plant. This looks familiar. Nothing at all. I can't check the map here. Hmm. Well, there's something good. Um, I am at a loss though, since this was the last door to go through. Everything. I still can't look at the map. The other one needs some sort of button to activate. Oh, sleepy guys. That door I came through. Um, I would go back, but all that's there is the splatter of my third friend who I let die. Oh, this is that door. From the other room. So this is where we heard the girl crying before. And I didn't do a good job looking here. Oh! So the exact same thing I'm using now. Except if I had a friend, they could use it too. Did I do that right? There we go. Alright, so now I have two lighted shotguns. Oh. So it's incredibly heavy. I would have somebody help you, but you know. All your friends are dead. I'm not moving this at all. There we go. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, I thought it was a machete. Is he one of the ones that mutates when the lights hits him? It looks like it. Mm. Based on my current...
Tic tac bro. That's not good. That's bad. That's it, you guys. Thanks for watching me play Obscure. Um, you know, main menu, I think I'm going to start over completely and potentially get back to this point without everybody being dead. And uh, maybe with the knowledge that I have now and the experience, I can do it. So hopefully next time you guys see me, I'll have a few more friends to have get murdered. Um, short episode sorry about that i didn't plan on dying such a terrible terrible death but good game excited to do more thank you guys for watching up at this point and i will see you next time